All of the bees that we have here in the United States were imported from Europe. In fact, honeybees aren't even domestic in the United States. They're not native, but all of the races that we have here are European bees, with the exception of one bee, the African honeybee. African honeybees have been a particular problem in Florida. You can't look at them and tell a difference between them and European races of honeybees. They're the same size, they produce honey, the colony structure is very similar. The only difference is they're a lot more defensive than their European honeybee cousins. So whereas we're working a European colony now with hardly any response from the European bees at all, if this were an African colony, we might have hundreds or even thousands of bees trying to attack us right now. The secret and the key to the success of African honeybees is that African honeybees are genetically dominant. When you cross African honeybees with European honeybees, genetically, behaviorally, physiologically, you get African honeybees. That simply means that over time, African honeybees can outcompete and outbreed the general races of European honeybees that we have in the U.S. And the secret to their success lies in their genetics. People have been trying to breed the defensiveness out of African bees for 50 years now, and they've been unable to. What we really want with this African bee, though, is we want its ability to fight pests and diseases. African bees are very resistant to a number of the pests and diseases our European bees suffer from. Now that the honeybee genome has been sequenced, many have the idea that someday that we'll, we'll be able to knock out the defensive gene of African bees while keeping all the beneficial traits, like disease and pest resistance, that come along with the bee that came from Africa.